As you already know, if you've seen my previous videos, I've put a ton of sound foam in my office. Let's do a little spin around here. I'd say probably at least 50% of all the open space is covered in sound foam. Um, but I want to figure out if covering more than 50% of that space makes any more of a difference uh, because the sound is already pretty flat in here. Uh, but there's a lot of spaces that are not covered. For instance, ceiling, doors, whiteboard, windows. Uh, so there is a lot of space that's not really covered yet. And since I got so much extra sound foam, um, I'm going to cover up as much of that space that I can uh, and try and keep it still looking nice in here. And I'm going to see if it sounds any more flat in here or any, you know, any more acoustically dampened. Um, a lot of people in my previous video uh, have said that I should have used um, like actual testing equipment and capture the sound waves and there's like equipment that you're supposed to use for this. Again, I'm not an audio engineer and I'm not doing this for scientific purposes. All I do is make videos sometimes. Uh, so if it sounds better in here to me, then I'm happy. I'm not trying to you know, make a professional studio or tell you how to do it yourself. That's up to you. I just want it to sound good to me. So I'm going to show you what I'm doing. If you want to do something similar, it's very easy to do. And I got all my foam from foambymail.com. I was able to do this entire room, um, which is an incredible amount of foam for roughly $500 uh, after everything. Uh, bass traps, cubes, sound foam. Um, if I were to go with a company like Arlex, it would have cost me thousands. <clears throat> All right, so I've covered my office in sound foam, um, and you can see it looks kind of cool. Um, well, in my opinion, I think it looks great. My wife thinks it looks looks really stupid, but you know that's fine. Um, and you you can also see when with if the lights are down, um, I put some red foam over the windows, so if the light is hitting it and it's light outside, it looks like it's glowing red and it's kind of cool. Um, I'll show you what it looks like over here. I'm gonna try to do some like interesting looking designs up here. It looks kind of cool with the base traps there. Um, up there in that corner, I did the same design, so it's symmetrical. Up there in that corner, uh, a little bit different because I'm not gonna do the corner up here with the smoke detector there. I also did the doors, you can see. I think it looks pretty neat. Uh, they're all, I did all the doors the same. Well, let's do a clap test, uh, see if it sounds any different in here at all uh, compared to the first versions I did. Test. 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 All right, so that's it. Um, I think it looks pretty good in here. I'm happy with the foam. I recommend it. Um, again, I got all my foam from foambymail.com. You can get a ton of it. It's like a thousand times cheaper than the stuff you can get at RLX. That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm also going to do a video to see how flammable this stuff is uh, because I've heard a lot of people say that like, it lights up like gasoline. Um, I don't believe it. So I'm going to do another video on that. Make sure you subscribe and I'll put that video up uh, sometime in the next week. All right. Thanks for watching guys. See you in the next one.